The SpaceX Starship is by far the largest space vehicle ever made, and SpaceX is planning to send thousands of them to Mars every two years, each vehicle carrying up to 200 tons of payload to the surface of the Red Planet. Thousands of Starships being built every year, each one planned to be capable of launching, landing, and launching again within 24 hours, each launch carrying more payload to orbit than any other vehicle has ever carried before, each upper stage containing more volume than the entire International Space Station, a station that took decades and billions of dollars to build and assemble in orbit. To put these numbers in perspective, every country on Earth combined to launch only 180 times in 2022. This could be achieved by just a few of the thousand starships that SpaceX says they are planning to build and be able to reuse like an airplane. Hey guys, I'm Dave. Thanks for tuning in as always. Today we're taking a look at the recent update SpaceX and Elon Musk provided for their Starship program. It's something that anyone involved in the space industry pretty much in any way should be paying attention to as it will definitely play a big role in shaping the future of the industry for the foreseeable future. The Some of the numbers that Elon and SpaceX shared in this presentation are absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, it's hard to comprehend numbers this big compared to what we've been used to over the past several decades. It's like trying to picture the size of the universe as a human. Your brain just struggles to comprehend it. It's almost like that crazy when we're talking about the amount of mass, the amount of launches going into orbit. And if you were one of the people who thought that Elon was just kind of talking up Mars and he's really in it for the money and he's not really all in on setting up a Martian colony, I think that has been proven categorically false with this latest presentation and we'll dive into why in just a minute. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing by the end of the video. I talk a lot about it, the space industry and investing in space. And if you're not new here, th thank you so much for continuing to watch. It's very much appreciated. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the numbers Elon shared with the latest Starship update. Okay, so I'm not going to dive deep on every little technical detail that was discussed in this update. There's lots of other channels for that who follow Starship development incredibly closely, tracking parts and all that sort of thing. I'm just going to talk about some high-level, big-picture numbers and what it could mean for the future of the space industry and why I think this really proves how dead set Elon is on going to Mars and sending sending thousands of starships to the Red Planet. Starting off with some numbers around the new Raptors en Raptor engine, just uh, continuing to improve that n amount of thrust it can provide, simplifying things, at least on the outside, starting to look simpler, and providing more power with the same number of engines. Now, talking about the next generation starship, this caught some people off guard. We're looking at Starship expanding, stretching taller, allowing it to carry even more payload up into Earth orbit and beyond in the future. Starship Flight 3 had obviously no payload to orbit. Starship version 2, we're looking at 100 plus tons to orbit. Starship version 3, this taller guy on the end, now we're talking 200 plus tons to orbit. Just a massive amount of tonnage. Really crazy. To try and put that in perspective a little bit, a Falcon 9 rocket, which is already quite a large rocket, delivers about 17 tons of payload to orbit. And we're talking... 200 plus tons here for a single starship. So absolutely massive numbers they're talking about. But even crazier than the mass that they can stuff onto a single starship is the amount of starships that they're planning to build, the frequency with which they're planning to launch them. It's really just stunning taking a look at some of these numbers. So taking a look at vehicle build comparison, uh, they're talking about building more starships per year than Airbus 
Airbus builds airplanes. Uh, that is a really, really wild stuff, or Boeing even builds airplanes. Really wild. We're talking about a thousand starships per year, and then eventually, according to Elon Musk, perhaps several thousand starships being built per year. And keep in mind that each one of these is supposed to be able to launch extremely regularly with minimal refurbishment and inspection. So that the number of launches these thousand vehicles could perform in a year, absolutely astronomical, pun intended. And if they, if they do accomplish this plan, it will absolutely dwarf the numbers of launches that have come before by such a massive amount. It's, it's difficult to wrap your head around it. The other thing to th I really was struck by during this presentation, when you're talking about building this many vehicles that are reusable and can launch that many times with that much payload, there's really not enough demand for that when you're talking about low Earth orbit, probably even going to the moon. Even looking at SpaceX's Starlink, which is by far the largest space satellite constellation and looking to get bigger, uh, that cannot even come close to justifying the number of starships we're talking about building here every year. And then they, don't forget, they'll still remain in service for a while. So the only way that I think these numbers can be even remotely justifiable is if Elon is dead serious about what he's been saying all along that they are going to be going to Mars every two years. It's not some publicity stunt. It's not just trying to get attention where he's really just after money. No, he's going to send these things to Mars en masse, talking like a thousand plus starships going to Mars in each transfer potentially. Uh, it only happens every two years, so you should be able to build up quite a large number of starships, get them them ready to go and in order to build a colony on Mars you do really need that kind of number of vehicles. Once they do land on the red planet they would actually be disassembled at first and be used for the materials. The materials would be repurposed to help set up the colony and the various things that are needed to get that going. Just watching the presentation, more than anything else, uh, just the scale of the endeavor is just mind-boggling to me. And I do believe Elon is 100% deadly serious about sending starships to Mars, setting up this colony, what that looks like in terms of the company being profitable and, you know, making sense financially. I have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea. And do keep in mind that each starship will require require probably five or six tankers to be launched into orbit and refuel them in Earth orbit before they set off to Mars. So massive, massive number of launches even beyond the number of starships going to Mars. How you fund that, I guess, you know, Starlink and the rest of the SpaceX business, but how you sell that to shareholders in terms of giving them value for their dollar and their investment, I'm still not really clear on, but it seems to be happening, and that's one of the primary reasons that SpaceX is remaining a private company, is that they can do things like this that don't necessarily have to make financial sense. So what do you think about these numbers? Can SpaceX really pull off building more starships every year than we see airplanes being built by the biggest airplane companies, seeing starships being launched regularly, fully reusable, sending massive numbers of starships to Mars, de-assembling them on the red planet to build shelters. Is this really going to happen in our lifetime? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Always interested to hear as well your thoughts on how this will impact other launch companies, other space companies, and just the boom it will provide for the entire space industry, which could actually be very good for other companies like a Rocket Lab and others who do build out satellites and the amount of new industry and and new use cases in space that could become viable from this vehicle. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's a little different than my usual content. I hope you did enjoy. If so, please do hit 
that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, please do consider doing that. I come back with videos on investing and in the space industry fairly regularly. I hope you guys have a great week and enjoy checking out the eclipse. If you do happen to be in the path of that, I will be watching kind of from the fringes. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.